Welcome to the second video in the circle equations playlist and in this video we're gonna see if we can solve a couple of problems from the SAT actually these are from the Khan Academy but these are pretty close to the actual thing so I encourage you to pause the video and give the first one a go the equation of the circle is x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equals 49 what are its center and its radius and so let's just remind ourselves what the equation of a circle is or actually the <clears throat> the standard form of the equation of a circle which we learned in the last video was x minus an h whole squared plus y minus a k whole squared equals r squared where r is the radius and h comma k are the coordinates of the center of the circle and we we learned where that came from that came for this equation comes from the Pythagorean theorem and, and as you can see this equation looks an awful lot like this one so actually let me just rearrange this one a little bit I can write this as x minus a minus 3 just to make it in this form whole squared plus a y minus this is already in the same form my y minus a 4 squared equals to 4, 49 that's going to be 7 squared and now this is exactly in this form and so our h here would be a negative 3 and our k would be a 4 we can just compare these two equations and so this is our center and our radius is equal to 7 and so the correct option here would be minus 3 4 here so this is going to be B and now in the actual test I wouldn't recommend writing anything down for this question here it's simply in your head you're going to flip the signs of whatever number is being added onto X and Y so in my head I would see a plus 3 I would flip the sign that would be a negative 3 and so that would automatically eliminate A and D and then I do the same for for Y and then I would eliminate C because that's a negative 4 and when I flip th this negative 4 it gives me a plus 4 and this is going to be B so for the second question I encourage you to once again pause the video and try it out in your head assuming you've given it a go let's start reading it a circle in the xy plane has the equation 3.5 times x plus 2.2 squared plus 3.5 times y minus 11.1 .1 squared minus 21 equals 0 what is the radius of the circle and as you can see this equation is not quite in this form so to, to show you I'm going to write this in that form but, but in the actual test you can just do this also in your head you can you can you know that that this 21 is going to the other side because we're going to add a 21 to both sides so this is going to be 3.5 times x plus 2.2 squared plus 3.5 times y minus 11.1 whole squared equals to a 21 and then we can divide both sides of the equation by 3.5 because here we do not have anything multiplying with these parentheses so we need to isolate we just need to divide both sides by 3.5 and that's going to give us x plus 2.2 whole squared plus y minus 11.1 .1 whole squared equals a 21 divided by 3.5 is a 6 and you can also do this in your head so in my head what I would be doing is I would take the 21 to the other side divided by 3.5 in my head I know that's a 6 and so the answer would be the square root of 6 because remember on the other side we always have r squared so for the radius remember to always just take the square root of whatever the number is in your head and so for this you actually will need a calculator and that's going to give us a 2.5 four or five I guess this is the answer right there and I just want to leave a little note here 
that in some questions they might ask for a little more than the radius they might ask for the diameter of the circle and in that case you just need to multiply whatever the radius comes you need to multiply it by 2 because a diameter is just twice the radius they might also ask for the circumference or the area and you just need to remember the formulas for both of them and you can just figure out uh, sorry this is actually the circumference circumference of the circle and the radius is a pi r square so in both those cases you just need to plug in the r to find the value